Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover using UTM parameters with custom campaign URLs to track your campaigns in Google Analytics 4. UTM parameters are great for tracking your digital marketing campaigns. For example, email and social media campaigns so you can capture data around how they're performing, including the number of users, sessions, and conversions. If you look at the traffic acquisition data and the default reports available in GA4 without configuring or adjusting any of the settings to the report, you'll see that the data is high level. It's mostly focused around the default channel grouping, such as direct, organic, paid search, and all these different traffic categories. And if you look at the traffic acquisition report, the main data table that it displays there is also focused on the session default channel group. But you can also view campaign data. If you're using the UTM parameters from this dropdown, you can choose session campaign as the primary dimension. And then this report will give you campaign data. So we'll go over how to configure and add UTM parameters to your campaign URLs. We'll use Google's campaign URL builder. This tool will allow you to track campaign performance by adding campaign parameters to your destination URL to where you want your target audience to click to on your website. This Google tool will only allow you to create one custom campaign URL at a time, but there's a link in the description for a tool that will allow you to create multiple URLs for multiple sources and mediums. And that'll save you a bunch of time where you can create all your campaign URLs in one place. So for example, if we have this as our destination URL, it'll add these campaign parameters to the end of the URL. That way we'll have data and metrics around where the target audience is coming from. So whether it's coming from a specific source, such as a social media network, Instagram, Twitter, it'll have data around the medium or the traffic channel, which could be social, it could be a referral site or CPC, that is cost per click paid advertising or some other traffic channel. And of course, it'll have the campaign name attached as well. There are also some optional campaign parameters that you can add to specify the content included. So we'll have data around users, sessions, behavior, as well as outcomes. So if you Google campaign URL builder, if you search for it in a search engine, query it, it'll probably be the first result on the search engine results page. Or you can go to this URL in the description. So when you arrive on this page, it lays out all the fields that you need to input in order to generate your custom campaign URL. In the left menu, you can see a toggle between Universal Analytics and GA4. The difference is the number of campaign parameters that are required. If you switch this toggle to GA4, the required fields are the website URL, campaign source, campaign medium, and the campaign name is optional. We'll just copy and paste this as our website URL. And we'll skip the campaign ID because we're not running Google Ads. Instead, for the campaign source, we'll use Instagram. So this is the specific source from which your traffic will arrive on your website. 
It could be from a newsletter, email newsletter. It could be some other social media network or some other referral site. And then for campaign medium, here we'll put social since it's from Instagram. Your campaign medium perimeter will depend on your campaign source parameter. Some other examples for campaign medium that they have in this tool are CPC, banner, and email. For Google Analytics 4, they have separate documentation for that. There will be a link in the description for this as well. But as you scroll through, you'll see that there are a lot more channels. Then there's the campaign name. So input whatever campaign name you have. There's also fields for campaign term and campaign content. These are optional. Campaign term would be any paid keywords that you're targeting. Campaign content can be used to differentiate ads or identify specific segments of your target audience. For example, this custom URL could be used for your target audience that prefers viewing videos or the segment of your target audience that prefers reading articles. If you scroll down, you'll see your generated campaign URL and you can click on this icon to copy it and use it in your various traffic channels. If you have a link shortening service, you can use that to shorten the link. As we continue to scroll down, we have more examples and description for each campaign parameter. Now, you probably noticed that you can only generate one custom campaign URL at a time. So if you want to stay organized, there's a link in the description for a free checklist. And there are some other resources in there as well where you can easily generate multiple custom campaign URLs and keep track of multiple campaign URLs. So now we'll check out the data and how this data reports. In Google Analytics 4, there isn't a specific campaigns report by default out of the box, but you can go into the report section under lifecycle, acquisition, and traffic acquisition. You'll see this report here for the various channels. If you scroll down to the data table, by default, it's set to session default channel group. And you can switch this to session campaign. You can do the same for the user acquisition report as well. And this will give you all the campaigns here, as well as these metrics. And you can scroll to the right to see the various metrics, including the events and conversions, revenue. You can click on the events dropdown under conversions for specific events related to your goals or your conversions, such as purchase, begin checkout, or any other events that you might be interested in. If you want to see the UTM parameters for source and medium, click on this plus sign and search for those dimensions. You can also add a single dimension for session source and medium. So we'll just do that and the report will update. If you want to save the campaigns report to the left navigation, make sure you have the permissions to edit and save GA assets. And an indicator of that is you'll see a writing utensil icon in the top right corner here. So we're going to go to another property and here we see this writing utensil icon. 
that allows us to customize the report. So we'll click on it and then it'll bring us to this window where we can edit this report. In the right panel here, click on dimensions under report data and it'll bring up this list of primary dimensions available for the report. So right now the default primary dimension is set to session default channel group. We'll go down to session campaign, click on the three dots and select set as default. You can also add or remove any dimensions to your liking and click on apply. Again, you can add the source medium dimensions by clicking on this plus sign down here and searching for it. And then you can save your report. And we'll just save this as a new report and we'll call it campaigns. And we'll go back. It tells us it's been saved to the library. From the left navigation, we'll click on reports. Down here, click on library. And it'll show us our collections, which is what constitutes our left navigation along with any other reports. So you can see the campaigns report that we just created. But what we want to do is edit collection under acquisition. We're going to add our campaigns report. So we'll search and there's our campaigns and let's drag it to the acquisition collections. Now we can save that and let's just save it to the current collection. Changes have been saved. We can go back. If we click on the acquisition collections, we can see our campaigns report. And it loads our report with session campaign as the primary dimension, as well as the session source and medium. If you download the free checklist in the description, you can see a link to a resource that you can purchase where you can manage all of your campaigns in one place so you don't have to keep switching date ranges. It comes with a URL builder and you can see and input log track your campaign results all in one place and that way you can optimize and figure out which campaigns are providing you the best results. So if you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.